Konnichiwa mina boku wa Jeremy desu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Sitting outside, shirtless. <laughs> uh, it's been actually a pretty nice day most of today. It's just starting to kind of cloud over now and I think we're going to get some rain. Like there's cloud and stuff all over the place, but uh, it's actually not too bad right now. Uh, I woke up really early this morning, well for me, on a day off of course, I would. And um, I got up, had breakfast, decided to go to the gym, which was nice. Um, I was going to do, chest day is always my default day and it shouldn't necessarily be that way, but that's just how it is. And uh, my gym buddies weren't gonna be able to make it today um, at that time that I was going. So I was like, okay, I'll just have my music and stuff. But when I was in the locker room, there were two other guys that I see there occasionally, and they're like, hey, what are you doing? And I said, oh, chest and shoulders. And they're like, oh, well, hey, why don't you, we're doing chest, why don't you jump in with us? So I did. And I felt old, because I'm 33 and they were like 18, <laughs> and they were lifting heavier stuff than me, not by much, but it's okay, it was all good. They still were asking for pointers, which was actually pretty neat, so I guess we help each other, and that's what it's all about. But, um, let's see. Kinda getting some, uh, uh, results, I suppose. But, I, uh, after that, I went to Riverside Park, and I walked around with my buddy John for a while. Um, put on some sunscreen and everything, just kinda walked around and enjoyed it. And then I got home and I realized I have this weird discoloration on my arm. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a bruise, but I don't know where it came from. And I don't, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel like I did anything like to get it. I, I don't know how the hell I got it, but uh, I got it. So I heard a cat. Look at Bailey, look at Bailey. Hi Bailey. Beanie, jump up. Beanie. She's there somewhere. Oh, there's Fong. Hi, Fong. Oh, there's Bailey. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh, I should not encourage them to jump on the screen because they will, and I don't want them to get out. Like a certain Mr. May's cat that escaped a while ago, <laughs> but we won't get into that. So. The other thing I'm trying to decide is do I like the facial hair, do I not like the facial hair. I don't like facial hair, but I also don't like shaving. It's like the ultimate annoyance. First world problems, right? I don't know. Comment below <laughs> what you think I should do. Should I grow it out? I've never grown out my facial hair before. I, I used to have long hair, like actual hair, long hair. Uh, I grew it out for, I think, five years, which... Uh, proved to be annoying after a while, especially on a windy day like this, it would just blow in my face and when I would eat stuff and just uh, didn't like that very much. But anyway, so yeah, I'm outside, it's kind of nice. I should show you actually the yard a little bit because Michael's done a lot of changes to it. Um, so he's done this planter thing that we have here and uh, all the way over here. This is the same as last year, pretty much. but. Um, this is kind of all new, and there's a new tree there too. I don't believe that was there last year. And then he also planted this garden along our uh, divider with our neighbor. And then the garden is like in full bloom with everything pretty much. I don't know what's in it because normally I do the garden with Michael, but he did it all this year, so there's a whole bunch of things. I think there's potatoes and um, those are tomatoes, definitely. The tomatoes come back every year. They never fail. I lettuce maybe that might be lettuce um, there's also some stuff over here too which is growing really tall I don't I think those are weeds <laughs> but I could be wrong I don't know but he's done a really really good job taking care of our yard and there's a new tree there too I don't know what kind of tree it is but it is new and our that's onions or chives I guess uh, here we've got green peppers and what are those those are celery. Nice. Well, he did leave some of the things in. Um, I have no idea what this is. But, and that must be corn. That looks like corn stalks. They're growing pretty fast. And strawberries. I'm surprised the strawberry plants are actually doing really well. Huh. Amazing. So, and then, of course, our back continuing on over here. Normally I'm scared to come back here because I am terrified of bees and wasps, but right now it's not too bad. And yes, there's a slide attached to our house, of course. 
and lots of plants. He's done a lot of plants and stuff. I just heard a cat. Sure, I heard a cat. Oh, there she is. Hi. This is Miss Kitty. Are you hiding in there? Are you hiding in there? This is our neighbor's cat. Or one of our neighbor's cats. She likes to hang out here and she wants you to come to her. Like, she doesn't always come to me to let her me pet her. But I have to be careful because she only likes to be pet a certain amount and then she bites. Isn't that true, Miss Kitty? Yeah. Hi. She's got the most adorable little meow. Hi. <laughs> so sweet. And my cats, of course, want to eat her because they're on her property. Or <laughs> she's on her property. And this is the other garden that Michael planted over here. <clears throat> so, with more stuff. So our whole yard is turning into gardens. There's carrots. Uh, is that rhubarb? Maybe not? I don't know. I'm such a terrible gardener. I really am. And there's like an evergreen tree over there. Kind of in amongst everything. You can probably see it like right there. An evergreen bush, I suppose. Not sure what all the rest is. There's more chives, obviously, and I have no idea what all this stuff is. So, hi, Miss Kitty. <laughs> anyway, those are our fruit trees: uh, plum, apple, and then there's an apricot one, kind of over. Is it apricots or nectarines? I think it's ap apricots. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi. Hi. Such a cute meow too. This poor little sweetheart lives outside a lot, and um, we see her in the winter and stuff. And but I can't bring her in the house because, like I said, my cats. I mean, well, Bailey would probably hurt her because she's another female. You are so cute. You're adorable. Aw, Lovin's sweaty sweetheart. Aw. Okay, baby, I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay, so that's. The tour of my house once again um, on the outside of it anyways I think it's gonna rain so I better go back in the house before it does but uh, that's my video for today I wasn't sure really what else to do but I saw the I just figured I'd let you know what I was doing today so all right everybody I will see you next time Jamatane Mina and have a wonderful day bye bye